Okay, well we're given that y equals the natural log of a third x and asked to find the equation of the normal at this point p which has x coordinate of 3. So how would you go about doing something like this? Well I would want to draw a sketch anyway and I'd start off then with my y-axis so I'll just do that, mark that in and the x-axis, let's just draw that across there. So the graph of y equals the natural log of third x. Well I know what the graph of y equals the natural log of x looks like. It's a graph looking something like this. Coming up through here, going through the 1 and off like that. That's the graph then of y equals natural log of x. But a third x, well if I replace my x with a third x it's going to cause this graph to be stretched out by a factor of 3 parallel to the x-axis. So we're looking at something like this then. Graph coming through here going out like this. Okay, So this would be the graph of y equals the natural log of a third x. And this is our point P then because if P has an x coordinate of 3, you do a third of 3, you've got the natural log of 1. And the natural log of 1 is 0. So that's got to be your point P. So there's P then having coordinates 3, 0. And what we're asked to do is find the equation of the normal then at this point P. It's going to be a line then coming through P looking something like this. We'll just have to go out the back here. There you go. All right. And any line has the equation of the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on that line. And that clearly is going to be this point P now at 3, 0. x1 will be 3, y1 will be 0. When it comes to m though, we've got to work out what the gradient of the tangent would be at this point p. There's our tangent in there. We can expect a positive gradient, okay? And then we can use the perpendicular gradient rule. Remember the product of gradients comes to minus 1 in order to find out what this gradient will be. So our starting point then is to get the gradient of the tangent at any point on that curve. So we need to differentiate this. So if we differentiate it, dy by dx equals, well, we're going to need to use the chain rule here. Remember the chain rule? Chain rule is that dy by dx is equal to dy by, say, dt if you like, some dummy variable multiplied by that same dummy variable dt over dx. Okay so what I'm going to do here then is this will be t the third x okay let's just mark it in here then again t equals the third x so you've got y equals the natural log of t. So when it comes to doing dy by dt, first of all, differentiate this with respect to t, you end up with 1 over t. 1 over t, t being a third x, is going to result in 1 over 1 third x. Okay, so that is dy by dt. Let's just put that in brackets. Now we need to multiply this by dt dx. So I need to differentiate this with respect to x. And it just gives me a third, so I'll just put that up there. OK. Clean this up, the thirds cancel, and you're just left with 1 over x. So when it comes to working out what the gradient of the tangent is at this point p, what we need to do is just say when x is 3. When x equals 3, we can see that dy by dx equals 1 over 3. And therefore this means that the gradient of the normal, let's just mark in a 
intro here, gradient of the normal must be equal to minus 3. Remember the product of these two comes to minus 1 if you've got perpendicular gradients. Well, that's our gradient of the normal, so we're in a position now to work out the equation of that normal. So again, I'll just write a little intro here. Therefore, equation of normal at P is. So what is it? Well, it's going to be y minus y1. y1 is 0. Just pop that in there. Equals m, the gradient, which is minus 3, multiplied by x minus x1 x1 being the 3 here. And if we expand this out, we end up with y equals minus 3x plus 9. And that's in the form that they wanted. In the form y equals ax plus b. a is clearly the minus 3, b is the 9. OK, well I hope that's given you some idea then of how to do that particular question. and how we use the chain rule here. Okay.